Today is the day to stop letting your lack of square footage limit your vision, because Mr. Cutie Pie himself, Nate Burkus. <laughs> He's back with the answers to all of your small space dilemmas and what he calls the most challenging. He said it now. I didn't say it. It's the most challenging makeover of his career. Don't you want to see what that would be? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Joe, uh, pull wide. Let's get a wide shot here. Here's the deal. Nate and I are standing in a replica of my first guest, 250. Not 250,000, not 25,000, not 2,000, but 250 square foot apartment. <laughs> this is it. This is it. <laughs> yep. It's like this. Back hi. to, hi. Hi, how are you? Hi, You're how are you? Working, how are you? I'm sleeping. This is it. Like, I mean, where's the stove part? Where do you, where's it? There wasn't a stove. There wasn't a stove? No. No stove. Really? Yeah, that's the oh, kitchen. Oh, this is, represents the kitchen, yeah. so the microwave counter. That's There's a toaster, a little refrigerator. Yeah. Wow. OK. It's a home so tiny that it's like living in a one-car garage. It is. That's okay. exactly what it feels like. So when we received this tape, we couldn't believe our eyes. But this is it. <laughs> Oprah, I have to tell you, I bought this place a year ago. It's about 250 square feet. Share it with two cats, Louie and Prada. It's a little small. I'm right here in Midtown Manhattan. I walk to work, I walk to visit my friends, restaurants, shops, you name it. Here's my bed slash sofa. I love to read, so I keep my books by my bed. Let me show you my library. Martha's Library. Gotta admit, that is creative. And here's my closet. Whoops, sorry about that. I just don't have room to store the pillows. Here's my study. My desk also dubs as the cat scratching post. Since storage is a problem when you have small spaces, I got these half boxes, and in here is where I put my lingerie. Each half box has a different item. The kitchen, and as you can see, I don't have an oven, and I don't have a stove, because I don't have any space. My refrigerator is the same size as the kitty litter bed. Now for the bathroom. Oprah, if I ever get a date and he's uncomfortable sitting on my bed with me, he can always come into the bathroom and sit on the toilet. He'll be facing the kitty litter box. So help, Oprah, help. I truly need your help. Well, that would be a challenge. Oh, it was crazy. Crazy. Yeah. So, because Martha's space is so teeny, we weren't sure if a makeover was even possible. So who did we send, cutie pie, to check it out for himself? And this is what happened when Nate arrived. I'm Martha. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> it's me. Oh, it's <laughs> well, it's so nice to meet you. Come okay, on well, in now. It's, it's small. Tiny, so you have right? to shimmy in. You're not lying, right? It's small. I'm going in. You have to shimmy in. I'm shimmying in. This yeah. is the smallest space I've ever been in. Period, the end. Touch this wall with your hand. OK, here we are. <laughs> this is it. This is the house. Close your eyes for me. Now talk to me about what you think this place should feel like. Um, it feels warm. I like color. Mm -hmm. And I like pattern. OK. Are and there colors nice. that you don't like? Gray. Can't do gray. OK. I'm sitting here head to toe gray. <laughs> All right, hope I'm the right guy for the job. <laughs> OK, so Martha, okay. can we talk about this apartment? Yes. I moved in New Year's Eve 14 months ago. OK. And I didn't have any money to move to hire Eve. a mover. So I used the bus, and I walked. You used the bus, and you moved into this apartment yep. by yourself? I have suitcases in my closet. OK. How many times did you have to go back and forth? Oh, several. I slept on the floor for six weeks. Did you not have the money to buy the bed in, right away? No, was, at the what? closing, I was rolling pennies. Martha's home may be small, but she says she is grateful for every single inch. Nate, this apartment is a gift. There isn't another place on this earth I would rather live in. You've inspired me, really, because I love how full of life and energy you are, and so you trust me to, to do what I need I to do here. I trust you a thousand percent. Thank you. OK, so many of you saw the show we did recently called The Secret. And this is really in line with that, because what Nate was saying about your positive attitude 
and how, what, you know, the fact that you could sit in that little small space, this little small space, and say, there's no place on earth I'd rather live because I'm so grateful for it. That is what drew him to you. You get that, right? Absolutely. That's how that happened. Nate's vision was to transform Martha's tiny little drab apartment into a jaw-dropping jewel box in the city, utilizing every inch of her 250 square feet. In just two and a half weeks, Nate and his team created a one-of-a-kind masterpiece. I haven't seen this either. Can't wait to see it. Well, we're outside of Martha's New York City apartment, and this has been an unbelievable makeover. Take another look at what Martha's apartment used to look like. All right, well, I think it's time to go in. Okay. All right, I will let you open the door. <laughs> Nate gave the room lots of drama with a tented ceiling. This is actually a very traditional decorating design. Really? A tented room. Wall-to-wall -wall floral curtains are in Martha's favorite colors. Isn't Wonderful that chandelier. This to that me makes the whole this this makes regal. the whole space feel so regal. glamorous. Martha has more storage than she ever dreamed of with custom floor-to-ceiling closets. Every yeah. square inch of this apartment is utilized now. Oh, absolutely. Every wall absolutely. either has some sort of system. Absolutely. I mean, and people living in small spaces across the country yeah. can do this. You can put fabric, you can come out 20 inches mm -hmm. and have all of the storage behind it. Nate says in a small space, everything must have its own place. Lowe's did a closet made custom closet for you. We counted all your bags. We counted oh, your shoes. Oh, I wanted oh, everything to have a spot. My, jewelry. My jewelry. It's like, a, it's like a lady's boudoir, yes. you know? I wanted you to have a place where you could sit down like a princess and put your makeup on and get ready for an evening out. So here's your new vanity. Oh, here, have a seat you. right here. Thank you. Remember Martha's old library? Your library is out from under the bed. I have bookshelves. I have a chair so people don't have to sit on the toilet. Nope. You have two chairs, out. actually. And that table lifts up to reveal more storage. Before Martha had no oven, no stove, and a dorm-sized fridge. Now she can cook up a storm in her new state-of-the-art kitchen. Oh, I got a kitchen. And, and my little boss, Louie and Prada. Martha, these appliances actually do double duty. They're all from GE and they're the Profile Series. The dishwasher is designed to fit under a sink. You have an electric touch sensor cooktop, and this is not a microwave. It's actually the Advantium oven, and it's got four things. So it's a microwave, an oven, a toaster, and a warmer, all in one. And of course, the Profile stainless steel refrigerator. Refrigerator. Yeah, I know, you finally a got refrigerator. a refrigerator. The Lowe's gave us a Shenandoah cabinet. And here's the best. Yeah. These all have, like, these yes. pullouts for storage. Oh, cool. Martha's outdated bathroom is now a luxurious little loo. So, Martha, your bath is still small, but I had all of the fixtures reglazed. So the tub has been reglazed, the sink, a new beautiful mirror. New Sorry, floor. I thank, forgot. Thank you for the new floor. <laughs> I hated my other floor. Even Martha's cats received the royal treatment. We didn't forget about Louis and Prada. Remember where your litter box yes. was before? <laughs> Look at this. Yes. This is all. <laughs> I can draw right in there. <laughs> so, Martha, I hope you and Louis and Prada are going to be really happy in this house. Thank you. Thank you so much. A thousand times. You're Nate. so welcome. Thank you from Louis. Thank you for Prada.